Titan Quest Immortal Throne is an expansion pack for the original Titan Quest game. Uh, it will integrate seamlessly into Titan Quest and continue the story where the original game left off. You'll be able to import all of your campaign and your custom characters into the expansion pack and then continue to develop them. One of the important things in developing Immortal Throne was that we kept all of the key core gameplay elements from the original game. So the fast action oriented gameplay, the frequent loot drops and developing your character through your skill progression and new equipment uh, all remains the same. In addition to that, we've added 400 items to the game. That's common items, unique items, uh, different pieces of equipment, armor, weapons. We've provided 15 hours of, of gameplay at each difficulty level. The player will be exploring three new Mediterranean levels as well as five regions in the Hades underworld. Throughout all these new levels, players will uh, have access to over 30 new quests and we've raised the level cap for players up to 75. One of the new key features in Immortal Throne are caravans. Caravans are located throughout all the major cities and players will be able to go to those caravans and store additional equipment. You'll have the ability to transfer items between your own characters using the caravans. Enchanters are a new type of NPC in Immortal Throne. They serve two main purposes. The first is that they will allow you to separate items and relics. The other main function enchanters have is that they will be able to create artifacts for you. Throughout the world, you will find arcane formula, and these formula are basically recipes which will allow you to create a powerful item called an artifact. So you go back to an enchanter with this recipe and with the proper ingredients, and they will be able to then create a very powerful item which you can equip on your character. Another additional feature are scrolls. Scrolls are items that can be purchased from merchants, and they provide players with one-shot buffs and other spells that they would not be able to acquire elsewhere. The scrolls can be stacked in your inventory and then can be added to your hot slot bar and fired instantly in combat uh, from a quick key or with a mouse click. We've also added a new skill mastery to the game. Players will have access to eight new character classes and the dream mastery has been designed to work well with both melee style and casting type characters. When designing Immortal Throne, it was important for us to listen to what a lot of the players had to say about the original game, as well as to be able to incorporate a lot of our own ideas for features that might not have been able to make it into Titan Quest. So, for example, a lot of the stuff under the hood that you'll find in Immortal Throne are things like auto-sorting in your inventory. Uh, new enhancements to pet AI and pet control. For example, you'll be able to set your pets to an aggressive or defensive stance. You will be able to target them quickly using hotkeys. We've also added an auto party feature, which will be selectable when you host a multiplayer game. And that basically allows all the players joining your game to instantly be added to your party. For the multiplayer experience, we've completely redesigned the multiplayer lobby. So players will now be able to quickly sort and find games faster. They'll be able to sort games by uh, a larger criteria. Players will also be able to look at the other players that are currently in those games, see their models, uh, get more information about those characters before deciding if that's a game they want to join. The team's currently putting the finishing touches on Titan Quest Immortal Throne, and we're really excited to get the project wrapped up and get the X-Pack out into your hands. Moving forward with the Dev Diary series, we're going to be talking about the Dream Mastery tab in more detail, as well as taking a look at all the levels that comprise Immortal Throne and talk about the story behind it as well.